Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Oh, Brett Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course. It is getting close to Christmas, Brad. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, you shouldn't have gotten me a cushion. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Top three tricks for getting up out of a chair. Well, now, this may not be you. Maybe this is going to be your parent that's having trouble with this. Or maybe it is you. I don't right. know who you are. I don't know what disabilities you might have. Or as you get older, the muscles get weaker, and a lot of people have difficulty getting out of chairs, especially ones without arms. My mother-in-law has trouble with this. She, sure. I had to help her over Thanksgiving to get out of a chair. So these are three tricks for getting out of the chair. You want to do number one, or should I do it, Brad? You do it, Bob. All right. All right. The first thing is scoot and lean. Okay. Don't try to get out of a chair by keeping your butt way back in the chair. Try to stand up, Brad. Put your butt all the way back. Yep. Okay. Right. Try to stand straight up. And we're pretty strong. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. So you first want to scoot your butt forward, and you can do that either by walking it forward right. or just sleep, lying, leaning back and sliding it forward. Yeah. Get to the edge of the chair. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Right. We don't want to be responsible. It's really that. not funny. Okay. And then you're going to lean forward. This is the thing a lot of people fail to do, too. They yeah. keep too far back. We call it nose over toes. Yeah. You notice you had a very small nose, Brad? Your nose is small, Bob. <laughs> okay, nose over the toes. So you lean forward, and you can. You really got to lean forward far to get up. And don't worry about falling all the way, you know, falling on your head, because that's usually not the case that's going to happen. You got to really go forward to do that. So that's that's hit number one or trick number one, right? Forward, nose over the toes. Yeah. Scoot and lean, nose over the toes. All right. All right. The second one, you want to show this one, Brad? No, no, you're not a robot. Bob. I'm oh, he doesn't want to do anything. He's just lazy. No, no Bob. I'm, I'm so you're in your chair without arms, and you're having trouble getting up. So you're going to do the same principles, but this time what you're going to do is you're going to scoot to the side like this, and now you've got the back of the chair to help you, right. and you can actually use this part. Yeah, you got something to use your hands in there. So, yeah, now you can lean forward and push up like this, and that often is going to give you that little extra boost to get you out of the chair. Yeah. All right? The third trick... Well, you don't want to do with this one either, Yeah, Bob, I did want to make one point, though. Right. Everything you've done so far is, are things that everybody does automatically. But when your parent is weak and they can't get out of a chair, you don't really think about all these things. It's like, why can't they get out? But, I mean, we, we always scoot to the front. We always do this pretty much. I don't think people automatically do this, Brad. Well, I don't think about this. You're right, right. 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 But the so. moving forward, it's just things we don't think about. Right. The third trick that you can try, and this is you're going to have to need some outside help, is you are going to need a cushion mm -hmm. to raise it up, because you you know in order to get them out of it, or you're going to need what we've done with a lot of people. It, we've taken their favorite recliner and we've made a platform for right. it, like a I don't know, was it made out of two, two by fours? Well, and I made one for my father. I took two by fours, framed it off so that's three and a half inches, and I put a piece of half inch plywood, and then I put some. Uh, board is some wood around it so it couldn't slide off. So, exactly, because it gate will slide on that plywood. That little extra makes the difference. So right. if, if you, you know, like Archie Bunker had his favorite chair. Mm -hmm. And by the way, make a comment below if you know who we're talking about, Archie Bunker, what show he was from. Very famous show in the past. Uh, young people are not going to know this, but if you're our age, 50 and over, 40 and over, you're, you're going to know the answer. Archie and you're going to want to subscribe to us, by the way, because we provide videos on for that age genre. Exactly. Back to the topic. So anyway, yeah, you can pick a couple of cushions and obviously that's going to make it easy to get out of the chair. Here you go, Brad. You it is amazing. You go one inch higher and it's amazing how much easier it can be for that person that's having difficulty. Let me just make one comment about lift chairs too, Brad. There's chairs that are, and maybe I'm sure you've heard about these, these are chairs that are recliners that actually are um, electric. electronic, electric, and they can actually also go take you from sit to stand. The problem with those is and if you absolutely cannot get out of a chair, that's fine, go ahead and use it. But I can tell someone who's, when someone comes in to see me, I can tell right away whether or not they've been using a chair like that because they've lost the strength of their legs to push down right. and get up. It, the very fact, the very nature of you doing sit to stand during the day is a strengthening exercise. Right. So if you have to use one of those chairs, just take it up far enough that you still can stand. Right. Just so don't, yeah, don't take it all the way up. Just take it up far enough so you're still getting the workout. Right. All right, three tricks. Bob, there's one other thing i got to mention. All right. We've got a new thing on our set here. Oh, yeah. Look at that, huh? 
Our little wooden things up here are covered now by Nancy made some really nice things at the post or styrofoam cup, so we're pretty excited about that. Is that, that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so talented. Yeah, so raise up your chairs and uh, cover up raise your up, chairs. Up. Yeah. All right, have a good day.